I've always been interested in cars, and I've always known I wanted to do something with cars, but it wasn't until probably my junior year in high school that I became really interested in collision repair. And uh, when I joined PCC, every day I went, I got more and more excited because we were learning new things and trying new things. It gets more and more fascinating every day you go, and you actually grow to actually like going to school and uh, enjoy every day. If I was still in high school, I would definitely have to say that you should take a lot of welding or other automotive classes, as well as mechanics, because you're also in there taking things apart, taking things off the motor, moving things away so you can do the repair right. And so anybody that wants to do collision repair would definitely have to take as many automotive as well as math and sculpting classes as possible. Another great thing about PCC's collision repair program is the instructors. They're very helpful and they never get frustrated with you. They have a lot of patience. They guide you through everything and uh, it's great to work with the other students too because they're in it for the same reason you are. You know, you're not just all taking a, a, a different type of class, a basic education. You're in it to fix cars and so working side by side with the students and talking to them and having them help you and you help them and everybody gets through it together is it's a great thing. One particular job I worked on was a Volkswagen Jetta and uh, when it came in it looked like the front end was an accordion and so uh, we had to tear it all down and take the motor out and uh, do some framework and things and uh, have the motor put back in. And so the reason I would tell someone to take as many arts and crafts or math classes as possible is because when you're doing these types of repairs you have to have a keen eye for uh, lines and curves and other details as well as the math because when you're doing framework you have to be able to subtract and add numbers multiply and figure out where where you need to put certain parts of the car oftentimes yes we do work on a lot of higher-end cars and um, you get people that are paying forty fifty sixty thousand dollars for these vehicles you know and, and you definitely want them to be happy with the repair and so it, it is rewarding when when you start out with something that looks nothing like it should and then when you get it back from paint, it's back to what it was before.